dodged a bullet. Oh my God, big time bullet. Hugh Hefner's assistant, Mary O'Connor's story might be the most interesting out of everyone on The Girls Next Door. Hef's past girlfriends always describe her as a friend and someone who is nice to them. But how much can that actually be true about a person who worked for Hef for over 40 years? Was she really on the girl's side or was there more hiding beneath the surface? What is the real truth about Hef's loyal assistant? On The Girls Next Door, Mary was really just a side character. She was Hef's secretary and the show focused on him and his girlfriends. But that doesn't change the fact that she was there for all of it. And from the girl's point of view, her presence was definitely part of the whole Playboy Mansion experience. Holly Madison and Bridget Marquette have mentioned her before on their podcast, Girls Next Level, and they really only had nice things to say about her. Most importantly, they revealed that she really helped them when they needed someone on their side against Hep. This came up when Holly and Bridget were talking talking about how when the show first started, they weren't actually being paid for it. It was Hef and the producers who got all the profit. Despite the fact that Holly, Bridget, and Kendra were the main characters, they didn't get any of the money. And that in itself is honestly shocking. I mean, the show was even named after them. They were the girls next door. This obviously wasn't fair and something had to change. And it actually did thanks to Mary. Because as Holly and Bridget explained, they went to her and asked her, if she could help them change things and actually get paid for the show. And Mary actually brought it up with Hef, which then changed things. After that, the girls actually got their own paychecks for the show, but even though it obviously was the right from the beginning to get paid, it couldn't have been an easy task to actually make it happen. Especially once they had done an entire season for free, for Hef and the producers, paying the girls would be giving up some of the money they were getting from the show. And they definitely wanted have wanted to do that, which makes it pretty impressive in my opinion that Mary somehow managed to get them to do it. It really shows that Mary actually had a lot of influence over Hef, which must have come from just how closely she had worked with him for all those years, because by the time the show came around, Mary had been working for Hef for 30 years. He hired her as the manager of the Playboy Mansion in 1969, and she had been working for him ever since. That kind of time spent with someone just leaves a mark, and maybe that that's why Hef was more willing to listen to Mary telling him what to do than anyone else. Or maybe it's that Mary knew exactly what buttons to push and how to put things to get him to do what she wanted. Maybe it was both of those things at once. But even though the girls all liked Mary and saw her as their ally in the mansion, it's obvious that she wasn't entirely on their side. She couldn't have been, or she would have quit her job very early on. Working that closely with Hef, she might must have seen the kind of things that went on in the house. She must have known exactly what Hef and his friends did to the girls and just how bad things could get sometimes. And I'm not just talking about Holly, Bridget, and Kendra either. There would be many young women who came in and went over the years and based on personal reports from some of them, things had been much worse in the more distant past. By the time the show came out in the early 2000s, things had reportedly calmed down a lot. But based on what people said about the 70s and the early 80s at the Playboy Mansion, things really weren't a joke back then. Sandra Theodore, who was Hef's live-in girlfriend back then, opened up about her experiences in the documentary Secrets of Playboy. And the things she alleged happened back then are honestly horrifying. And we know that Mary was hired to be the mansion manager in 1969. So she was there for all of it. Everything that Sandra described in the documentary, Mary Mary would have known about. And as far as we know, she never did anything about it. She never stepped in and did anything to help the girls. At least, at least unless they came to her themselves and asked. Although obviously we don't know every detail about what exactly went on between her and all the girls over the years. But what we do know is that the horrible things Hef and his friends were doing didn't stop happening pretty much until the end of his life. Mary didn't stop Hef from hurting people, but maybe that was because she couldn't really have stopped him. She had a lot of power with Hef, but at the same time, he could have easily gotten rid of her if he wanted to. At the end of the day, she was just one of his employees, so she probably couldn't have changed everything about how Hef was living his life, but she was definitely part of his inner circle. And that means she had to have known about a lot of what went on behind the scenes. I'm talking about the really serious, messed 
messed up stuff. It's what all of Hef's past employees always talk about. They were there watching all sorts of terrible things go down and they had to just look the other way. And obviously Hef had his ways of making sure they didn't just go to the police or something because some of the things based on the accounts definitely should have been brought to the authority. But Hef just wanted everything hushed and dealt with quietly behind the scenes. He couldn't have any of the truly bad stuff ruining his reputation with the public. So all his butlers and security guards had no choice but to stay quiet. And Mary, as the manager of Playboy Mansion, would have been the same, at least to some degree. So you could even make the argument that she was almost complicit in all the stuff. And who knows if she really was just a passive bystander in it at all. She was the one helping Hef run the mansion and organize things. So she probably played a more active part in everything than most of his other employees. And I mean, even if she hadn't actively made things worse, knowing about it all and not helping anyone really makes her part of the problem. Although you could say that about all of Hef's other employees too. At the end of the day, Hef is the one to blame really. It was his fault that people suffered at his mansion and at his parties. Everyone else was under his influence and who knows what he did to make them not go against him. In any case, he must have been really persuasive because considering how much messed up stuff went on in the mansion, there were shockingly few lawsuits or investigations and Hef never really faced any significant consequences for his actions. The whole story is honestly tragic if you really think about it, but in the middle of it all, Mary was actually kind of a positive element to the girls. It's obvious that they liked her and she was at least something of a safe person to them. They could go to her with a lot of their problems, even ones they had with Hef. And a lot of the time, she would help them and get what they wanted. Like when she negotiated that Holly, Bridget, and Kendra get paid for being on the show. There are definitely two sides to her role in this whole story. On the one hand, the whole situation was messed up and she was a part of it. She even helped the mansion run smoothly so that all the horrible things could keep happening. But on the other hand, it wasn't really her fault that things were bad. And it was definitely better for the girls that they had her in the mansion than if they didn't. What would be really interesting is if we could hear her side of the story, but sadly that's never going to happen now as Mary passed away in 2013 at the age of 86. But anyway, what do you guys think about all this? Do you think Mary was more of an ally to the girls or was she just another villain in the story of Playboy? Let me know in the comments below.